It's loading. Loading, loading, loading. Yeah. <sighs> Still loading. <laughs> I don't know if the tune is us. Or... Um, we're just getting Cheryl connected here. Good morning to whoever's here at the moment. Is that how it was? No. Is it the bottom? This one? No. This one? That's really weird. And um, and that it just went almost where we are. Let us know if you're here. <clears throat> We're just getting Cheryl connected so she can make some comments here. If anybody has any questions. What's the middle one? Well, this is where I talk. Mm -hmm. That's where it can. Oh, we're having fun. <laughs> we need to write this down for the next time, right? Yeah, I'm just going to see if I can send, because if I can send you a thing, I can just watch yours and yeah. talk to people. Um, you know what I didn't do? I was going to put a, a um, what do you call it, a link. I did that last mm -hmm. time. I put a link in Facebook so people could just go. They can go to the event. So anyways, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's just 10 o'clock anyway, so hopefully some people will jump on here pretty soon. And if anyone is here, just let us know that you're here. I think it's asking me to set up again, but I don't I wait. Okay, try and manage again. Okay, so what's the difference? It's live stream. Well, it That's the other one. How about getting out of it and going back in? Okay. Let's see if that works. So good morning, there's somebody else there, yay. We've got lots of really nice goodies for you today. Cheryl, we're just trying to get Cheryl set up here. <clears throat> so. so go into here and go to your channel or whatever. And click that. Here we go. There we go. We got it. Woohoo. We really need to write this down. Yes. We do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to play. Um, this is a sacral singing bowl. So we thought we would do a little singing bowl today for everybody. We hope you had a great couple of weeks. So just as people start coming on, we'll do a nice little, isn't that gorgeous? I love that. So we hope that you're having a good day and not having to go out here in Calgary to um, um, in the, we've had a little bit of snow and I guess freezing snow. 
um, overnight, so it can be a little bit slippery out there. So hopefully people are able to hunker down at home. And we'll just do a little uh, smudge here before we get into all the beautiful crystals. Thank you. Sometimes it's the video is a little jerky. There we go. Give everybody a nice smudge this morning. And a nice um, <clears throat> um toning with this with the um mm -hmm. that was singing bowl. Yeah, it's got a beautiful got tone to it. And we'll just do some running over with the uh, Selenite athame right here. Cheryl loves that part. Mm -hmm, I do. <laughs> here. There we go. So I hope everybody's doing well. And I hope um, that there's a few people that hop on this morning and see what we've got. We've got some things here that are rare. We've got some things that we have had before. And we've got some surprises. Yes. And um, some delicious colored things, too, yes. for the beautiful mm -hmm. colors for spring. And hopefully that'll bring spring back. Yes. <laughs> spring went <weather> back. <laughs> Please come back, spring. Yeah. <clears throat> so if um, I'm just going to go over how we do it, especially if there's anybody here that's new. And um, we just ask that if you are new and there's something that you want to bid on, that uh, once the live is over, if you can go to our website, uh, soulfoodcrystals.com, Cheryl's going to post that, and um, open up an account and put in there your contact info. Um, you may, uh, we, we also ask that you put your, um, YouTube name in there as well in the notes section. Um, because then we know who, who it is for sure. Um, and we need it for not only to contact you, but if you're from out of town, then it's for shipping purposes as well. Um, so. Uh, we ask that you do that. Otherwise, I know there was somebody at the last one who didn't, so they didn't get their stuff because we couldn't find who they were. So um, so how it works is what, um, I'll show and explain a um, uh, the crystals. I'll explain their properties and a little bit of how to use them as well and if it's something that you bit, want to bid on what you do in the comments and the best thing to do is to make sure that your comments are set to live chat and not top chat um <clears throat> uh, you type sold the name of the piece or product and if there's more than one um price if you can put the price down because then um we'll make sure you get that that uh, price and we do um, at the end of it go through all of the comments to make sure that we didn't miss anything and that we got them in order um, to uh, in case there's a couple that are very close or something so once we have your order fully together then we will contact you um, with your invoice and payment can be made um, with a credit card over the phone if you want. Uh, we'll send you a PayPal invoice. Or if you're in Canada, you can also pay by e-transfer. Um, and we just ask that the, um, the invoice must be paid within 24 hours, otherwise it goes back in. And if there's somebody else who wants it, then there or whoever's next in line will get that. Um, Any items that are left after the sale, I um, 
I list them all out in the discussion area of the event. So you'd have to go to, if you were wanting to think about something or you wanted to see what was left over, um, you could go back to the event, even though it has passed, you click on it and you click on the discussion tab and I'll list everything under there. And if there is something you want in the comments of that discussion of that post, you type sold and then the name and the price. And um, I will look at it um, and um, pull it aside for you. The, um, the prices already have a discount on them. So this discount is good until Friday night at midnight, um, Calgary time, which is mountain time um, in Canada. And if there is anything that you would like um, and can't live without, but um, it's a higher ticket item or something like that, we do do layaway. So um, you don't have to worry about um, passing something up if it's something that you really want. We still can do layaway. And how that works is we just ask for um, a down payment, like a 25% down payment, and then we split the rest of it. And if it's shipped, then it would be the shipping charges as well. Hi, Carol. Teresa is um, then we would split that over three months the rest the remaining part over three months and we would do that through PayPal so be prior to the next um, payment date then we would send send you an email or a PayPal invoice saying that this amount is now due and then once the final payment is due then you get shipped the product and the pieces that you paid for So just remember, if this is the first time you're with us, to um, if there's something you want after, the, you don't have to do it in the middle if you don't want to. Um, you can wait till the live is over, but just go to our website, and Cheryl has put it up there. I I'll think. put it up again. I think you can pin it to, to the top of that thing. And you should go <laughs> live chat. See, then well, you I can, was in live chat a minute ago. There you go. There you go. Yeah, and um, Cheryl's just putting up the website again and just open up an account and remember to put your YouTube name in there as well because uh, some people use their name for YouTube and that's not normally an issue, but some people don't and we wouldn't know who you were. Um, <clears throat> and again, if you could bid on the item, only bid on the items that you truly want so that it's fair to everybody, especially when we have a one of a, only one piece or a one of a kind and just again all prices all, all prices that you hear today have already been discounted and they are in Canadian dollars so for anybody who is not in Canada like the states it's Canadian dollars not US so that means you pay less lucky you <laughs> exchange rates can exchange be a blessing rates. for some right. <laughs> now just so you know None of the items today are on our website and they don't normally make it there until, you know, sometimes a week or two after the sale <clears throat> and they will be at their um, non-discounted price on the website. So if there is something that you want today, um, it's really good to get it at the discount price. It is. Yes. So, hi Fern. I think she's going to go for that <laughs> um, So lots of goodies. So we're going to start with something that is so adorable. So cute. adorable. So cute. And we didn't keep it ourselves. I know. Amazing. <laughs> I know. This is a little tiny yellow and purple fluoride elephant. And guess what? He's only $27. Um, and yellow fluoride as well as elephants and is even though his trunk is down here it's still curling back up so it means abundance now isn't he cute he's just so, so adorable cute. and um that's the other side of him right there it's so so sweet isn't he cute 
So yellow fluorite is manifesting. It's really good for the solar plexus. And it helps to attract that abundance and joy and happiness and personal power. And purple fluorite helps you to find your purpose and your higher calling. So little powerhouse elephant there is so cute. cute. And it's been left um, kind of matte except for his ears and his tusks and his little tail. <laughs> All the better to hear you with. <laughs> He's so sweet. He is Something so cute. Yes. Yeah. And to there's another little adorable thing that we're going to offer today. And we thought, you know, it's getting close to um, Easter. Easter's, you know, like a week away. Yep. So we have these little teeny tiny rhodochrosite eggs. Cute. Aren't they cute? <laughs> it's adorable. They're like a half an inch or something. Yeah. <laughs> They're only $15 each. And rhodochrosite really helps with um, the heart and emotions and the soul in a deep, profound way. It is stronger energy than rose quartz for any kind of emotional healing. Yeah. And um, it does take it to a deeper level. Oh, look at the color in this one. Um, and a more conscious level as well. It's, it's actually darker than what it looks like on here. But, um, <clears throat> it can also help with um, conflicts with loved ones as well to kind of help um, smooth that out and bring understanding to the situation. And it also has a real strong um, presence uh, no, it's showing me down here, of self-love, compassion, and healing. This one's purple right there. But aren't they cute? They're only $15. Can you imagine carving that little tiny thing and getting them so perfect? It just, I don't know. It amazes me. And um, of course it's pink, so of course I love Rhoda Grossite, being a pink girl. Um, but this one is stunning. That's the one that's yeah, just really I stunning. I like right there. on that one. Yeah. Very pretty. We only have six of them. Um, <clears throat> but little miniature eggs. And wouldn't it be neat? It would be so neat and really sweet to tuck that into a little gift that you were giving to somebody. Yeah, just tuck it into a card. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it would be really so cute. cute. Yeah. So those are the two two of the adorable things we have today. <laughs> we do have some others, but yeah. those are two right They're off the bat. Really, really cute. <laughs> um, so the next one we have here is called diopside. And diopside, it's, it's actually chrome diopside, which is more rare than any other kind of diopside. And that is actually $75. Um, but it's really good for personal and planetary healing. It's really good for creativity. It's actually a square. Believe it or not. I don't know if you can tell. It's a square. The whole thing is almost only got four sides. But it um, helps you to lead you to a brighter future. It opens up lots of opportunities, as well as gently healing your heart. That is chrome diopside. And what's lovely about it is that you can actually see the green. We've got actually some polished, a couple of polished pieces and they look black. But this is the green. And um, it is um, more rare than any of the other kind of um, diopsides is the chrome right there and that one is 75 right there and we came across this really cool thanks banded black agate and i'm going to show you this piece so you can really see what it looks like these are a dollar 60 each they were charged in the new moon in march so it has new moon energy. So what's in here is quartz. 
So it's, you can see the black on the back and then we've got some bands here and the agate goes into and the middle is quartz. And each piece is very different. Um, it is a form of Chalcedonia, and look at that side is almost all quartz, and that side is black. Right there, so it nice. Reminds me of one of those old television sets. Yeah, you know, when they burn. <laughs> yeah. All this. Yeah, you can see it all. But it's <laughs> nice and balanced, black and white. Um, and um, you can actually see. Uh, the black actually looks very dense, but if you if you hold it up to the light, there is a little bit of translucency to it. And here is one where we've got bands going all the way around, which makes that a wishing stone. Yes, it's grounding, and it's um, rooting so into the earth, and it connects to the earth star and your earth star chakra, which is right underneath your feet and also your root chakra as well. It's very soothing and calming um, and helps with inner reflection. And look at this one's very interesting too. Look at that. And then the back, you see there's bands on the back, but this one is like a mixture of the black and the making cool. pictures. It is. On it. You can see it looks like a fish or a whale or something there. But um, I've got another, this one almost looks like it's, um, here's a little ghost. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it is. Hey? Little ghost face Yeah. in there. But this one is really cool. It's yeah. like the quartz is actually coming out of it. You can see it. Look at that. Like it's growing out of the side. Yeah. Somebody's sitting there meditating yeah. or something. But. Oh, you know what? It is somebody, because you can actually see his arm right there, or her mm -hmm. arm, and they're starting to come out. It's like they're coming out of their cocoon. Yeah. Or their um, egg or whatever. Poking out. <laughs> uh, it is. It, it is, yeah. <laughs> Weird quartz. It is. Out. It's very cute. And um, we've got 36 of the band that black banded agate and some of them will have let me just see if I can find a piece here that has here don't know if you can see it or not oh here's another wishing one but it's actually black and white and there's actually brown in it as well so um it's black white and brown mm -hmm. here's it's another wishing one and they're wishing one where they all go around. There's a whole bunch of them that go around. The brown shows up in this one yeah, right there. It does. So you can see that it's more brown and with the white and the black. And there's actually brown mixed in there as well. Mm -hmm. But it's really um, it's really a cool um, um, agate, but also it is in the um, Chalcedony or Chalcedony family. And it's really good for um, calming. It's very, very calming and soothing. And it helps with inner reflection as well. And of course, it will help with meditation too. Mm -hmm. These. And going, still kind of going with a little bit of black here. We have some rainbow obsidian hearts. So well, you can see, here you can kind of see heart around in here. I've got uh, three at 29. Um, this is a stone that really helps you when life gets rough. It's a really good ally for that and good protection. Um, it's a stone of the heart and it really connects you with divine love. Here's the other one. This one's very more shiny almost. Mm -hmm. But it's actually, you can actually see green and purple in it, in them. Um, it's got lots of compassion. It's very gentle and lots of kindness. So it helps you to be really kind to yourself, especially if you are going through some rough times. 
Um, and also if there's any emotional issues or anything like that that you want to work on, this is um, a stone that will help you um, to let them go with love. And uh, that would be rainbow obsidian. There's actually a little heart in the middle there, but I don't know if you can see it on the thing here or not. Um, but it'll help you feel safe and to show um, that you own your own true colors. And I've got one little one at 15. It's right there. Right, the right, yeah, right. right here. And he's got a little heart right um, in here. In it's, heart. it's hard to see on here, though, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's like a heart within a heart. You can kind of see some of the lines a little bit. But um, anyways, I've got three at 29 and the one at 15. And then we've got some more of the rainbow obsidian um, generators. We've got a really big, humongous one. So if you're really going through tough times, <laughs> here's the baby for so you. This is so nice. <laughs> this one is 183. <laughs> and you can see all the lines. See how mm. they, cu they cut it differently so that you can see all the lines this way going around. So to me, that's a wishing mm -hmm. thing as well. So I'll turn it this way so you can see it. And obsidian, of course, is um, also a um, um, absorbs lots of negativity. If you have any negativity in your environment or around you in any way, it's a good stone for scrying as well. Very, very protective too. And, but that one is 183. And then we've got one a bit smaller, and this one is, um, where are we here? This one is 88, right there. You can see they all have the bands going around, so they're like wishing pyramids. You can see them now. <laughs> so one thing about, um, yeah, we should have oh, a thing a fingerprint. No, it's not. It's a heart shape. Can you see that right there? It's a, yeah, it is. It's a natural heart shape. It loves, it loves you. So that one is 88, and then I've got one that's a little bit smaller. And this one is 55, right there. This one's a little darker and more like more black than the rainbow part. It's got a really elongated um, window on it too right there but really good for self-reflection, inner reflection, um, inner healing. It's really good also for scrying. A lot of people um, like black um, obsidian to gaze into, um, and sometimes it, it acts like a TV screen and they see in their third eye, you know, kind of pictures going across. So, um, and generators, definitely what they do is they gather energy and then bring it out the top. But um, Rainbow Obsidian is a really good, uh, this one's got uh, a really good stone of protection. This one's got them going up and down. If you can see that, see that it's, de it's deeper inside the piece actually. But it is going up and down and then sideways, <laughs> so all around. And I've got um, three at 29. These little ones are 29, right here. And then these ones that go around like that. So really good if you're, again, if you're going through anything that's um, a little bit rough right now, um, these are really good allies and companions for that. I like this one because it's got rings going around the yeah. top as well and help you um, go forward to let things go and not be so stressed as well. So those are Rainbow Obsidian. And we have had those, um, you know, in the store before. And we have had this as well. Um, but the color on this is gorgeous. These are $2.40 and we've got 43 of them and it is Aqua Aura. And it's quartz that's been bonded with vaporized pure gold. 
It's beautiful. And it's a really dynamic stone for the throat chakra. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like blue topaz, doesn't it? Almost, yeah. And um, these are, they has a little bit of a rainbow effect on them as well. Um, but they do help us speak our truth. And I remember um, years ago when um, this first came out, um, and they and they first started doing auras. Aqua Aura was the first one that they did. And um, it was really a dynamic healing crystal for um, a lot of people used it for, um, at the time, HIV as well. Oh, that was one okay. of the things they used it for. But very strong dynamic healing crystal. Um, it's a very spiritual crystal as well. But it also helps you to release stress. And here's a big one. Stress and ne any negativity and attracts positive energy into your life is what this does. And you can use it here as well on your third eye to open up your intuition. And because it's gold, it's abundance. And it also um, would represent the sun. So bringing in that beautiful warmth. sun energy mm -hmm. and warmth and and all of that as well. Kind of like um, pyrite does that too. So these are really, they're a really beautiful color. They're gorgeous. And I'm just gonna talk about it for a sec, is that a lot of people look at auras as fake crystals. And that's fine because everybody has, has their own opinion, right? <clears throat> but I, I don't look at it that way. What I look at it as, is two natural elements being bonded together by man and it makes it a stronger and as i said more dynamic crystal than the two separately yeah the the does. metal goal yeah it helps the uh pumps up the energy because it conducts energy so it does and so and quartz enhances the energy of any mineral that it's with or in the proximity of it is what um, is what quartz does. So this is that's why they call it a very dynamic healing crystal, and they are two dollars and forty cents each until tomorrow night. So what we've got next is last time we had the ruby kyanite generators. We now have some um, touchstones here. I've got six of them, and they're $58. And the combination of ruby and kyanite is, to me, symbolizes juicy communication. So lots of passionate communication even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so ruby is the stone of love and passion, and it's also um, enthusiasm. And kyanite is really good for communication, but it's also truth and self-expression. So the two together are really, really um, powerful uh, for communication. And this one right here happens to, you can see that white line going all through it, I think. I'm, I'm thinking that that might be quartz. But again, that's a wishing stone. When you have a vein or line going and it goes all around, they call that a wishing piece. And ruby fluoresces. So if you were to have a black light, um, uh, I did it last time, but I don't have, I didn't bring that flashlight here. Grab it if you want. But if you, if you shine a flashlight on that, or a UV flashlight or a black light on it, this will um, um, fluoresce. The ruby will show up um, fluorescent, kind of a fluorescent pinky red or ready pink. There. Sure, went and got one. Thank you. So you can see, you can see how it fluoresces right there. It's very cool. It's very cool. Like that. I bet our little Ganesh up there would be really cool. This is another wishing one right here. But we do have six of these and I just, I don't know what it is about this combination, but I love that combination. Right 
there. They're beautiful and they feel really good in the hand too. <clears throat> and there's quite a bit of ruby in it. You can see all the ruby in them. And when you look at the kyanite, of course, kyanite does have um, mica growing with it. And it, um, it sparkles in the light. It really does. So these are really, really, really beautiful pieces. I love them. And we, I think we still have a couple of generators left yeah, in it we as do. well. The towers. So, and those were 58 at the discounted price. So this next piece is one of our surprises. And I was really lucky to be able to get it. It's there was only one. It's um, a high vibration pendant, and it has moldavite on the bottom and phenakite right there. Yes. It's $281. And both moldavite and phenakite are high vibration crystals, and they are both on Robert Simmons's Synergy 12 crystal list. So this is really a powerful piece. And I know um, I actually put it up here when we first got it. It was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was buzzy, mm -hmm. very buzzy. And um, if you're not sure what a high vibration crystal is, on Tuesday night, um, I'm teaching a class. Uh, it's an online class. And um, you can um, register on our website. But it's all about high vibration crystals. And that's this coming Tuesday night. And this piece is amazing, just amazing. So Moldavite, um, which most people know, and that's the green one right here, and it has been um, polished and faceted. It's when a meteorite hit um, uh, in the Czech Republic, you know, millions of years ago. And uh, it formed, when it hit, it formed um, this green, it's actually green glass, natural green glass is what it hit or what it made when it hit. And, um, that's where most Moldavite comes from is the Czech Republic over there is where that, that, and it's a type of tectite and there's different tectites and, um, it's really good for, um, quick spiritual attunement. Um, extraterrestrial wisdom is what they say, so like universal wisdom. And it that assists with also astral traveling and it accelerates your spiritual growth. And so that is the moldavite. And the phenakite up here, which is the white crystal at the top, it's a rare stone and it's a rare find. You can't always get it. So having the two together my fingers starting to ache a bit mm. from the energy. Um, to get the two together is phenomenal mm -hmm. and very, very powerful. And even though phenakite, usually you get it in very small pieces, very tiny pieces, it is very powerful. It can bring um, powerful change when you work with it. Um, it's clear. <clears throat> Um, and it's filled with white light. Sometimes it's a white crystal, um, what, but they call that clear. It looks like a, almost looks like a quartz, and you can get them with little terminated points on them as well. Um, but it's very, very um, uh, strong, or it can be very strong, and it is um, helps to clear energetic pathways in uh, in the body. And it connects with the third eye as well um, and enhances your intuition and your inner vision. So, as I said, these crystals come mainly very small, um, but doesn't matter because they are really powerful. The only thing is, is that you don't want to lose it. <laughs> and I just want to say size doesn't matter. <laughs> but men, if... Uh, meditating with phenakite, um, it brings white light down through the soul star chakra and into the body and throughout the whole body. So when doing shamanic work, um, 
what Fanakite will do is open up portals for journeying. So you can see that this really is quite the powerhouse pendant and it is at the discounted price, $287. It's actually beautiful. And it's got a, its own little bail up here. So it's not a separate bail. They put it a little hook there like that, a little loop. So I think Lucky is the person who is going to get this. Yes. It's a one of a kind. Yeah. And I haven't seen the combination uh, before or since. Um, I keep going back and asking and haven't been able to get anything else with the combination of the two. And it's really tough to get Moldavite right now. <clears throat> they are not, um, I don't know whether they're not, well, I've heard they're not picking it right now. Um, um, <clears throat> you know, that sort of thing. And I guess it sort of blew up on, on TikToks, so why lots of people want it right now too. We get asked for it a lot, almost Just every day. Just about daily, yeah. Yeah. So that is a beautiful piece. Um, so if you are wanting that, I would I jump on it. Yes. And now Cheryl's first grid. Yeah. This is a cute little grid. It I is like a cute it. grid. It is so cute. So um, this grid, I'm calling the soul healing grid. And obsidian makes up the base for this grid. It vitalizes the soul's purpose by removing energy blocks and relieves any tensions. It integrates shadow into the whole to bring about spiritual integrity. Um, this particular piece of obsidian has been carved into the triple goddess shape. Um, it indicates the three stages of life, purity, fulfillment, and wisdom. The focus stone in this is optical calcite, and that allows us to see what needs healing and brings the gift of deep soul healing. It opens and clears the inner and the outer eyes. Ruby is energizing and balancing and brings in vigor. It brings negative energy forward for transmutation and encourages the removal of that negative energy. It charges your passion while bringing about a positive state of mind. Herkimer Diamond stimulates spiritual vision and your own potential while bringing your soul purpose forward. Chrysoprase gives hope and insight while bringing energy to our physical cells. It helps heal the inner child and relaxes us. It helps align ideals with actions. And I would use a charoite, quartz, or selenite wand to activate this grid. And this grid is $95. It's cute. And you can use it for your own grid base, too. That's oh, what yeah. it looks like. Isn't that cool? I think it's there's so many things you can do with the grid base alone. Yeah. 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 yeah it's very cool. Very be a nice little altarpiece, too. It would be a beautiful altarpiece. And we have two of those mm -hmm. at the moment. <clears throat> now, the next one we have are these little bags that we made up. I'm going to take the crystals out. <clears throat> but what is in it is three different types of barrels. And one is ruby. You can see their little pieces here of ruby. Blue sapphire. Oops. Oops. Blue sapphire. And then some, and they're all natural. What's with it is emerald. So five each of the three different types of barrels. And um, they're $24 each, and we've got 10 of them. Um, and emerald is for love, ruby for passion, and sapphire for commitment. So um, they come in, nice little peg right there, and you get 15 crystals. Um <clears throat> which is at a um, again at a discounted price and they look lovely together all three of them together just look really really pretty you can see in there the nice color nice for grid work or... yeah be great for grid work and um, making elixirs <clears throat> mm -hmm. all sorts of things. 
here. Um, yeah, so they would be really great for that. If you're working on um, love in your life, um, you could use them separately or you could use them all together. You want maybe committed love or committed passionate love. <laughs> <laughs> um, or you want to be committed to what you love to do in your life and be passionate about it. Mm -hmm. Carrying a little bag like that around with all three crystals in it would be actually awesome. So it doesn't always have to be romantic. No. but it can be about what you do in life maybe even your soul's purpose or something like that these are really cool um beautiful little crystals to be able mm -hmm. to um, help you in that area and we do have five no ten 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 bags yeah, yeah. ten bags <clears throat> there and they're all um natural um and some of you have already gotten the the ruby and the sapphire before but um a lot of the ruby and the sapphire have record keepers on them as well so we get an added little bonus there <clears throat> now we have some really cool cool green kyanite touch stones like look at that color these are gorgeous they're 47 dollars each and we've got six of them one has, um, one actually is blue and green kyanite together, right there. But green kyanite is a stone of peace. And um, <clears throat> it invites us into our own heart's energy. It helps to clear any blocks. And you can see, you can see that reflective right there. That's a big, huge piece of um, mica in there. So it can be very reflective and sparkly. You can see all the sparkle in there, right there. Um, but it helps us to make, um, make ourselves aware of our own inner wisdom and that we do have lots of inner wisdom and help us to tap into that. It's a stone that helps with depression and anxiety and stress as well. So if you're feeling down, this is a great piece to pick up. Um, it connects to, to nature and all its elemental beings and it does not keep energy just like blue kyanite doesn't keep energy doesn't absorb energy it will extract it and, and, but it slides right off of it so you never need to cleanse it either so these are beautiful beautiful pieces gorgeous yes, yes. look at how dark that is yeah. and sparkly yeah, it's dark and sparkly, light and dark. Mm -hmm. Working on our shadow side and our yeah. light side. Yes, but these are just beautiful. They need equal attention. Absolutely gorgeous pieces to work with. They're um, they are they're very very calming. Where did I show that one? This one actually looks like a little angel. That mica piece. Mm -hmm. When you look at it, it looks like a little angel. There's lots going on in them, isn't there? There is a lot going on yeah. in them. And this piece is just, it's its mostly blue kyanite, but you do have green mixed in with it. In there, if you can see, there's some green right in here. And that blue-green kyanite comes from um, Pakistan, actually. And these look really, I can actually see a little bit of blue in some of them too. There's a bit of blue in that one. So you've got blue and green in there as well. Um, I think that's probably where these are from, like Pakistan. And yeah, there is like, there's touches of blue in there. I think on most of them, there are touches of blue. Oh, there's a face in that one. You can see a face in there. I don't know if I can see it up there. There's a, a furry face. Maybe a little yeah, furry this friend. This has got like a wizard. Oh, yeah. Right there. So lots of scrying with this. You can see lots of pictures in here. These are really beautiful pieces. And I just love the green. Mm -hmm. So the green is just, it's stunning. And it makes you feel like it is spring. It really does make you feel when you said have good balance. Good balance? The one that had good balance that you were holding. Oh, of the light? 
light and the dark. The light and dark. Yeah. They, I would say they all do, but this has more light than the other ones. Yeah. Reflective pieces anyway. Yeah. And the other ones. So. Um, now we do have some more kyanite here. And if you saw the video, you might wonder why is it so dark? Mm -hmm. um, we've got how many did I say? Four different four different sizes. Although the lar the larger size, uh, which isn't really large, but the larger blade is I've only got one of them. This is, we're calling it indigo kyanite, and this is the larger one. There's, we only have one, and it is uh, four dollars. Now the reason why it's so dark like that is when they polished it, they normally use a white polishing powder. Only this time they used a blue polishing powder and that's what it looks like. And the person I bought it from was really ticked off. <laughs> so I couldn't believe they did that. And Cheryl and I went, ooh, I really like that. <laughs> and he's so like, really? Cool. <laughs> so we said, we're gonna call it indigo kyanite. And this one's like a, it really is like a blade it is. right here. And, um, and it is um, just a really nice color. So it really goes here. It goes here too. Mm -hmm. And it has all the properties of kyanite. Um, it just has that deeper um, color. Um, and then we've got it. This the next size is is we've only got four of those, and they are two dollars and forty cents. And the one thing is the color is fairly consistent, except for when you hit, you know, um, little patches like this, and then it's darker. But you can see that there's um, sparkle in there too. Mm -hmm. And um, so we've only got four at two dollars and forty cents like that. We have, um, that was nice and flat. we have um, 42 at $1.60 right there. And we have 170 at 80 cents like that. They're nice and flat. Yeah, there's the fun from yeah. grid, eh? You from could grid for yeah. laying on the body. Exactly. You're not you could going make, anywhere, right? You could Great make your, stone too. Yeah, and you can make your little grid mm -hmm. on one of these if you wanted and put it in the center of another grid or mm -hmm. a little palm grid. Or you could have a blade with crystals on it like mm -hmm. that too. Um so this really helps with opening the third eye for sure uh, because of the color, um, but it will do everything that kyanite will do, which is it bridges between the heart and the third eye anyways. It boosts the immune system. It's really good for communication and truthful communication. Um, and it helps to bring all the chakras into balance and alignment again. So it's really good for crystal healing and laying on the body uh, to work that way. Um, the other thing is, is that a lot of people like to sleep with it under their pillow because it is calming and soothing, but I have a feeling that it may bring about some dreams, maybe prophetic. Which sometimes we want that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes prophetic dreams. Mm -hmm. So we do have, um, lots of this, uh, of the 80 cent and dollar 60, um, sizes of it, mm -hmm. but we just thought it was very cool. Yeah. I just loved it. Yeah. Lots of fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just need a glass of water. Mm -hmm. So, if anybody has any questions, please let us know because um, we will definitely answer them. Cheryl uh, may um, type them up, or if it's a question that we, um, you know, like lots of people might want to hear. Mm -hmm. um, about, we'll definitely uh, address it that way as well. Um, <clears throat> the next uh, 
two, I've got two pieces of it is is rare. It's quite rare and it's very difficult to find. It's called Gormanite with Siderite. And while it might look black up here, it's, oh no, it doesn't, mm -hmm. you can see good. the green. Mm -hmm. It's actually a green mineral. It looks quite dark, but it's actually green. And um, if you if you look at it, if you um, it's actually a blue green, the gormanite right there. You can see it. This is found in the Yukon Territory, so it's Canadian crystal. It is um, brings lots of stability. I'll show you the other one as well. I think this one's probably got more siderite in it. Uh, peace, and it also. Um, empowers our inner will. So if you need a little bit of willpower, this could be the stone for you. It's excellent for intention setting as well. And it's really good to go, if you really need to some drive or whatever to get you going after your goals and your intentions, this will do it. It does it with determination, but it also does it with positive energy. And I've only got two pieces. I We've never had it before in the store. As a matter of fact, I've never heard of it. But um, it is, it's hard to even find information on it. Um, but these are $68 each. And um, if you are a collector of crystals, anything that is, you know, rare like that is definitely great for a crystal collection. If you... Um, like to collect them like that. Where does fenugreek? Yeah, yeah. Oh, did you go to oh, that? Yeah, Next. I was just type that. Yeah. Thank you. Believe it or not, there is actually a little bit of fenugreek that comes from BC. Oh, it's there. Yeah, we've got it from Canada. Oh yeah. yeah. But those yeah. are bigger pieces. I find this other fenugreek, the little stuff, to be more powerful, actually. So this is the gormanite with siderite. And siderite actually can also grow with rhodochrosite. Sometimes you see a little goldy patch in that, and, you, and it looks almost like pyrite or chalcopyrite, but it's actually siderite. So it can actually grow with um, rhodochrosite as well. But here we have it, and we, there's just tiny little pieces. Actually, there's little bits right here, almost a yellowy. There you can see it yeah, right there. See it now. Right there, and that would be the siderite together. And so these are 68 each, and I know they're tiny, but they are quite rare. So um, if you're if you're into rare crystals or collecting, they would be a good one to have in your um, your, your collection, your repertoire, or your toolbox if you want to use it. Mm -hmm. be great. And we've had appetite before, but we've got a couple of, um, we've got four little, um, they, they sometimes call these galley or um, pebbles. pebbles. Sometimes they call them pebbles as well, but the color is gorgeous. And this is a stone of manifesting. It helps with practical issues. It's a stone <clears throat> of wisdom and guidance, higher guidance. But it can help with um, issues such as money and investments, um, changing jobs, or um, even helping to find employment. So you can see, um, you can see there's a little bit of this one's the darkest one. There's some dark on here as well, but the color, that's all natural, that color. Um, so it's it's amazing what Mother Earth um can come up with me. But spiritual uh, blue appetite has a very strong spiritual side as well. So it can take you deeper into meditation. So if you want to meditate with it, it will take you deeper inside. Mm -hmm. And you um, if you want to um, balance left and right um, of the body, you want to hold one in each hand and it balances the those left and right energies together. It will also help to balance the brain and the body together too. 
Um, but it opens, being this color, of course, opens up intuition, which is why it's really good for meditating with. And um, it can help us to access and explore past lives. So if you're into that, this would be a great crystal for that. It's very emotional, emotionally soothing and it promotes inner peace. This one's very pretty. Mm -hmm. It's nice and bright. That one. It's a nice bright energy. Um, it helps you to get over feelings of um, um, when you don't have enough self-confidence um, and um, self-consciousness, you know, that kind of thing. Appetite, blue appetite can help with that. And if you're feeling lonely, especially over this past year, there's a lot of people who are feeling lonely. Mm -hmm. Blue appetite can help with that too. It helps you to get rid of that or um, not feeling quite so lonely. And it helps through any sort of um, um, energy that has you seeing, like you're not seeing things clearly or um, confusion, that sort of thing. It helps you through that. And um, it, if you add a piece of quartz with it, it will actually really enhance that so it opens up and makes things more clear. So lots of clarity there. With, um, with Blue Appetite. And it's such a beautiful crystal. It is. I just love that color. Yeah. So we've got um, some generators here that are... Um, they're quartz, and then they have black tourmaline in them, so tourmalinated um, quartz generators. We've got two different sizes. This size is 56. It's the larger size, and we've got two of them. And they grow together naturally like that. And um, they, um, and of course, again, Quartz enhances the energy of any other mineral that it's with. So it enhances the quality and the properties of black tourmaline, which is about um, protection and grounding and purifying as well. So, and then quartz is um, focus and clarity. It magnifies, it amplifies, and it is programmable. And so this is also a stone of balance, um, being the black and white, if you want to look at it that way. So, and it is also one that where you can work with your shadow and your light side and bring that into balance as well. So these are really great pieces to work with. So this one is, um, these two are 56, and then I've got four that are 41, and they're a little bit um, shorter, so you can see here and they look really great it's really nice um quality tourmaline in there lots of nice um pieces in that you know it's almost yeah. like their pairs like the light and the dark this one's quite dark compared to this one yeah. and that one is same. too and so with the same, same like with this. the big one okay it's like they should be yeah. working together the they, light and oh, the dark. Yeah, they could definitely be pairs for sure. Wow. Just notice that one. Light. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So four at 41, unless you want to do a pair. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they do. They are like yeah. that. And Even the yeah. big ones are. It's like they were meant to be so funny. Working, working together. Yeah. Those are very cool. Very cool. Indeed. And we actually have a really large piece on our charging station. Uh, which is what when Cheryl gets up um, and you you actually um, say sold. When Cheryl gets up, she puts it on the charging station. So all your crystals get cleared and charged before they um, get get um, sent packaged to you up. or pa yeah packaged up, sent to you, or you come and pick them up. And that is actually you can see it over her shoulder right there is it's sitting on a light and that is actually a big huge piece of um tourmalinated quartz back in there 
And for those who might be new and don't know about our charging station, um, what we do is we we built a, a one to do that with, and um, underneath it's got four selenite plates, and then on top of that it has a um, flower of life um, grid plate, mm -hmm. and then on top of that is a fluorite charging plate, and then on top of that we have a selenite organite charging plate. And then when we put them on the charging station, we have a copper pyramid that goes over top of them all and um, energizes everything. And you can feel the difference. No kidding. And yeah. sometimes you can feel it from far away. <laughs> far away. You can feel the energy of it. The energy, yeah. Of the crystals on there. So they are definitely um, um, nice and charged up by the time you get them. So. Now we have some actually um, drool-worthy <laughs> pieces here. Mm. These are stunning. They are angel aura quartz clusters. And again, it is an aura. Um, it is quartz that has been bonded with silver. And I think it's iridium. And they make a beautiful opalized... Um, luster on the outside. I've got two different sizes here. This size is 190 and you can see the soft colors on it. So there's actually some purples and yellows and blues in here on this beautiful piece here. See lots of really nice quartz points. There's some druzy down in here, and there's some tiny quartz points on this one as well. This is a gorgeous piece. Now, this is also something that you could use to, well, it wouldn't be that one, it doesn't matter, to, here, to charge your crystals on. All you do, or to cleanse your crystals and charge them, is that you put it on there for 24 to 48 hours, and it will clear and charge your crystal. But... It's best to do it for a couple of 40, I would say 48 hours because, you know, it's, it's a little slower going. Mm -hmm. um, plus, oh my gosh, this one right here is a phantom. I think that's a phantom right there. Um, but it would also charge it up with that beautiful angelic energy that um, Angel Aura is known for. Yeah, no, what did I say? It's platinum, gold, and silver is what it is. I have written it down. Mm -hmm. Is what it is um, bonded with. So that's the that's one, one at 190, and this one is the same. Look at all of those. This is actually spirit quartz. And so it is. This is actually spirit, a cluster of spirit quartz that is bonded um with the platinum, gold, and silver, and it is a um, angel aura cluster. Now, putting something like that on there because um, would be really cool. Ooh, would be um, because, as you can see, we have um, spirit quartz. It's a single point, and then all around are tiny little points growing on it. So they reflect back and forth energy and wisdom and information and everything plus going all out like that so this keeps energy moving in many many different directions right there it um angel aura helps to nourish your heart chakra with lots of positivity so it will help with um negative self-talk which is good it brings about lots of optimism and clarity, and it helps you to reconnect with your inner joy, um, which in turn connects with your inner child. And quite often as we grow older, we, let, we disconnect from that inner child, and some of our fun and play isn't there anymore. Well, this can help you connect back into that again. But I, I really like it because it reminds me of birthday cake. It does. <laughs> Sparkly birthday yeah. cakes. Um, 
It reminds me. It reminds Very me. Of, celebratory. I can't talk. It mm -hmm. reminds you of um, fun times. Yeah. Right. We have three at one eight. So then we've got three at 118. So we've got one that is a um, spirit quartz, an angel or a spirit quartz. And um, this is like the, uh, the two larger ones. This one's got single points all over it and it's angel aura. Those ones are 118. And this one is a combination. We have like spirit quartz here, <laughs> and we have favorite. single points here. It is. It's very it's cool. My it's, it's like, like two worlds. Yeah, and they're and they're colliding. They're coming together. Yeah, and to work as one. And these, are, this is a really cool, cool piece right there. It's one eighteen, like that. And these are just lovely to have in your space. Mm -hmm. Just so soft and beautiful. And then I have three generators, which are 22 each. We've got these two, and you can see on the side, you can see a little bit. This one's so clear that there you can see some of the opalized colors on it right there. And then that's the third one. So these, the generators are 22. And we had two, two, two larger ones were 190, and the two middle size or smaller um clusters are 118 and then we've got angel aura and these are beautiful because they're really nice and clear really nice clear quartz these are two dollars and 40 cents each and we have 47 of them these are great for grids mm -hmm. these are beautiful especially if you're trying to connect into higher energy and higher not just angelic but spiritual energy to be able to um, use, this one's a little darker, almost like it's a smoky. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. But these are $2.40, but they do exactly the same thing as the generators and the clusters. And you can get some that are small enough for grids. You could actually get a generator for the, the middle part of the grid and use these for the waystones around. That would be very neat. Mm -hmm. they are. They're very pretty. And they're we've made them all the same price. Some of them are larger like that, but they're all the same price. Um rather than you know split them out with one or two, because there's yeah. only one or two that are big like that. We I just decided yeah, just throw it in and, and don't make it, you know, more yeah. more money yeah. than that. So the next grid uh, here for Cheryl. It's cute. It's a cute grid. <laughs> it's a cute little grid. <laughs> it is. Look at that. It's Pinocchio. It is Pinocchio or a unicorn. <laughs> or a unicorn. Here you go, Fern. It's a unicorn. <laughs> so um, indigo kyanite, um, which we've it's all good. just seen for the first time today. Um, this is a spiritual renewal grid, and indigo kyanite connects us to our highest frequencies, and it opens the throat chakra and our spiritual truth, and it also allows us to speak our spiritual truth. Green adventuring uh, brings an emotional calm and gives a feeling of well-being. It melds our intellectual and emotional sides so we can live in our own heart. The shape of this green adventuring is an obelisk. Obelisks dissipate negative energy, uh, build up, but help direct energy throughout the grid. I don't know what I did a typo here. I was trying to figure out what I was saying. <laughs> build lump. But, oh. Yeah. Herkimer diamonds are in the four corners of this grid, and they stimulate our spiritual vision and our own potential while bringing our soul purpose forward. And I would use a quartz or a selenite wand to activate this grid and, or an adventuring one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this grid is $36. And um, the, the other thing about um, obelisks is 
they're, um, and I know I've said this before, is that they are very sacred to the Egyptians, especially the ancient mm -hmm. Egyptians. And what they did was they built a pyramid, um, an elongated pyramid, because the longer or taller it was, the more they felt that they could reach their, their gods for um, prayer and wisdom. Cute little grid, eh? Nice little palm grid or it something is. that you can put in um, the middle of your grid as well. You can also travel with it. You can also travel with it. Exactly. You just need your elephant. So we have another elephant. He's bigger here. And where are we here? He's an agate elephant. You can see the agate. But he's also a druzy agate. Because look in there. <laughs> and he's actually, you can see me, right through there. It's all the way through. So it's a drive through. And this elephant is actually $280. He, um, agate is very um, stabilizing. It's really good for healing and it's really good for support. And look, he's also got his trunk way up and that means abundance. And what some people do or what they used to do is they would take some money and they would attach it to his back and put it in the wealth corner. Um, and that would help to attract more abundance into, into the home. That's the, so that's a feng shui thing to do. Um, to be able to do that. And, um, and that's what it means when it's up, is that it is abundance. And the little one that we had before, it was down, but it, it curled back up like that. So that it just, if it's just hanging down, that it doesn't mean the abundance, but this is what they say in feng shui when, when a trunk is up. It means abundance. But agate is a crystal of protection. It's a crystal of warmth and stamina. It's self-confidence, insight, and it's also happiness. Elephants bring abundance themselves, so it's double abundance. Um, they bring community. They bring support, happiness, improved memory, because... Um, Every element, element, every elephant can remember back to the first ele elephant, they say. And they are very compassionate and very loyal. And they also grieve their dead as well. And they will um, do even little ceremonies. Um, and they will stay um, for a while with, with an elephant that is either dying or has died um, so that they... They do their, yeah, they say their goodbyes. And they're very, again, they're very patient and they're very determined as well. And um, if you look at um, elephants, a herd, I, hopefully that's what it's called, a herd of elephants, I think so. I don't know, is um, it's all, it's all the, the female, the matriarchs, and they take care of all of the um, babies and the young ones and the um, male elephants kind of I don't know if they even go in a herd I think they travel on their own and then they have to uh, well they might have their own but they come and um, you know at mating season and to pick out to pick out their girl <laughs> I guess but um, this is a beautiful carving here and he's got look at his look at the happy face he's just happy right there and in here I'm going to do it this way as well you can see all the quartz um, points all through it looks like a smile it does <laughs> but you can see it's just filled that cavity in there is filled with little quartz points so whatever you do with this in the form of, of however you would work with it, whether it's a happiness or abundance or whatever it is, um, is going to be totally enhanced even more so because of all the quartz that's in here. 
that's worth it as well. So this little guy, what did I say? He was 280. Right there, this beautiful nice. elephant. So if you're a collector of elephants, I have a friend who's a collector of buffaloes. She has many, many buffaloes. I've seen it. They're part of her. Yes. Yeah. I know I've been able to <laughs> I've given it to her for gifts, for gifts as and well and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she has three herds of buffaloes. <laughs> and I'm sure she's got 60 or 70 of them. So she's got two herds at, at her home in BC and she's got one herd here in Calgary. <laughs> and some that she travels back and forth with. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to go with your bestie. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Sometimes you do. Now, um, we do have some, a little bit more black obsidian here. And this is actually black obsidian, not rainbow. And these are touchstones. So they're really reflective. It's um, black obsidian is a volcanic glass. It's a stone of protection. And, um, but especially psychic protection. So, or if, somebody is um, sending you ill wishes or somebody is trying to drain your energy, whether they realize they're doing it or not, this can help you um, shield you and, and um, protect you from something like that. But it also is an environmental cleanser because it soaks up lots of negative energy in your environment. Um, and it, that's one of its main purposes, really. This one's a little bit of a sheen one. Here, a little bit of gold sheen in that one. But we've got four, and they're $33 each. But it's really good for self-confidence and manifesting as well. And um, meditation, journeying, scrying, all of that kind of stuff. You can place, um, if you've got your own business... Uh, place a, a piece of black obsidian in your uh, in your place of business and it helps with success as well. So it'll help um, manifest um, some money. It will help manifest success as well. And um, it will help to keep any kind of negative energy away from your business as well. And if you put it in your home, um, you put it in your prosperity corner. So. You could grid your house with it, meaning putting it in the corners of your home. You could do that with black ceremony as well. So we've we've got still quite a few pieces here of different things. Here is uh, these next ones are really interesting. I love this one. Yes, we have um, um, some malagano or maligno jasper uh, generators. And two different kinds. We've got ones that are um, black and white and gray, touch of um, uh, caramely color on it, tan color. And look at this one. Yeah, that's so cool. Isn't that one cool? It's, so it's cool. got a drive through on it, too. Yeah. These are $98 each, and we've only got six. Um, and we've got four that are like this. And we've only got one that looks like that, but we have another one that's got some ready, really red and, and gray in it as well. But these are really cool. These help to remove blockages. Um, and they help you to find your center, to get very centered, if you know what I mean. Not grounded, but centered. And they help you to see alternatives. So more um, more ways than just doing one thing or more ways of thinking um, and may and I think even in um, when you're having a discussion with somebody else it can help you see their side of things as well mm -hmm. it's very nurturing and it's very calming and serene and it really connects to nature as well but these are I think these ones are cool mm -hmm. I think there's, oh, I was going to say it's quartz, but it's not. But it's all kind of uh, 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 light and dark gray. A little bit of black thrown in there, these ones. Oh, very very cool. cool. With just a touch of that um, yeah. kind of beige color. Yeah. This one is spectacular. 
That one would Look be really that. good to put it's those like, negative thoughts in there to transform them. No kidding. Yeah. And there's actually these little um, stalactites hanging down here. They just remind me of like a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> It'll chew it all up. Chew it all up. <laughs> chew it all up. And there's actually three little stalactites in there. You can see them in there. Look at that. Those are way cool. These are really, really neat. It's like three heads and they're floating down the river. Oh, you look. Let it go. Let it go. Let it, flow. Let it flow. So these six are $98 each, and they're really, really neat. I just This one I love. I just love that one. And when I first saw it, I thought, oh, it's got to come. It's got to mm. come. And while we've had um, this kind of Jasper in the store before, I've never had it like that. It's always been more like, sim more similar to that. But this, with all the, you know, mainly gray in it, this is like shadow and light as well. Working with it. I really like that. It's nice and muted. And the energy would be softer. So it's not like working with, like, maybe the um, the black tourmaline and quartz. The tourmaline and quartz would be much stronger energy because quartz is that way. This would be a lot softer to work with and a little more gentle as well. And then we've got two red jasper generators that are quite different. They've got you can see the quartz in them. These are also 98, but look at the look at the strength of that red in there for the red jasper. Now I love that white white quartz in there. Beautiful white white quartz. And red jasper is ooh, I wonder if they cut it like that. It almost Ooh. looks like it was a continuation. Mm -hmm. It's a really powerful, powerful stone for healing and health. <clears throat> it helps ground us into the earth's energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. And using red jasper will help with um, strength and stamina, just like lots of other jaspers, and also motivation. So it's really good for motivation. Um, it makes us feel nice and comforted um, and safe, and it strengthens our foundation. So what we feel is our foundation and how we feel <clears throat> connected to the earth and um, balanced like that. It's also really good to up your courage level. Um, and you can always take a piece of red jasper with you if you're going into a situation where you feel, I'm not sure, I don't know, do I have the courage to say what I need to say, you know, that sort of thing. Red jasper will help you in that. But uh, these are stunning generators. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've ever had red jasper generators. They're beautiful. Here, they're gorgeous. They're like little pieces of art, actually. They like are. A... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Abstract or yeah. Now the next one is interesting. Shall not be named. <laughs> We're calling it the quartz crystal that shall not be named generator. Hmm. We've got three sizes and channel. And I will tell you why we are calling it that. And you might have seen this before too, because but these are actually a zestulite. But you can't use the word zestulite unless it comes from Robert Simmons because it is um, copyrighted. Copyrighted that name. So we did come across these, but they are not from him officially. So we have to call them. The crystal that should not be named. But to you and me. <laughs> That's what this is. And um, that name was given to um, a certain crystal that was first found in New Hampshire in the U.S. The information was channeled to Naisha, who is um, 
uh, a second author of the Book of Stones with Robert Simmons. And in the Stones of the New Consciousness um, by Robert Simmons, you can read the whole story about, about this and about um, how Naisha came about um, receiving this information. It was channeled to her by a group of entities called Azez. And that's what they said it was going to be called. And he went and um, copyrighted the name. That's why. You have to do that. Lots of people don't. But anyway, we thought we'd have some fun with it. <laughs> um, it, um, it is a crystal that was is has that energy, that entity group called Azez. It has their energy in it, and it's called the Awakened Crystal. And its purpose is to awaken um, humans and raise the vibration level and to raise the vibration level of all courts on the planet. Now, we have a piece um, that we put in our cabinets wherever quartz is so that the quartz that you buy from us already has that frequency level raised because um, it's something we want to do for you. So we, all, we have a piece and we've had, I've, I've done that for years uh, where we, we rotate it um, with any quartz. And so it kind of moves around the store. Um, if you look into one of our cabinets, you can see a little bag. It has this issue light in it actually. Um, and it is from Robert Simmons, that piece. Um, but it helps us to raise our vibration. And if you um, <clears throat> pair it, he suggests pairing it, he suggested pairing it with Moldavite. Um, it can um, bring about some pretty powerful um, meditations, very interesting meditations. The energy of this is very similar to phenakite and moldavite as well itself. Um, all are high vibrational crystals and all three are on his Synergy 12 list of high vibrational crystals. There are way more um, high vibe crystals than, than the 12, but those are the 12 that he, he kind of works with. So this piece right here, that's the largest one we have, and it's about an inch and a half, I guess. It's $66. This type of um, quartz only comes from one place, and it is um, they are, It is expensive. So this is $66, Then I've got one that's a little bit smaller, and it is $55 right there. And then I've got four that are $44. So, like that. So, if you're wanting to work with the high vibration energy of a crystal like this, this one's a little clearer. The other ones are more like snow quartz and quartz are a little milky. Um, it will help to raise your vibration. And when you, it'll help to raise the vibration in the space it's placed as well. Or if you place it with your quartz, it's going to do that too. And what will um, what happens when you raise your vibration is that um, negative energy has a harder time surviving in a high vibrational space. Whether it's in your body, in your space, it will have a harder time um, living there. And negative energy can also be... Um, illness as well that can have a harder time taking hold doesn't mean it won't but it will have a harder time taking hold in a higher vibration energy so we've got um uh, one at 66 one at 55 and now we've got three three at 44 right here so really nice little um generators and um I will say it is is as chulite <laughs> because you can get it not from him. You can still get it, but when you get it from him, you're legally 
we're able to call it that. And now we've got a piece of spirit quartz. And this one, if you remember, um, wasn't last live, it was the one before, I believe. Yeah. We had the amethyst spirit quartz, and today we have only one piece of the quartz spirit quartz. So you can see it's what they call. Well, you know what? I'm going to rescind that because this has very, very pale tips of purple, lavender. They're very, very, when I hold it up like this, I can see yeah. it. So it's, it's, I would say it's clear quartz and with a tinge of amethyst on it. This piece, it's a nice large piece. It's $238. And spirit quartz is called that because it's from the spirit mine in South Africa. But it's also called cactus quartz or porcupine quartz. And again, um, I'll show it up here. You can see it's got one large point and it's got tons of little tiny, you can see how sparkly they are, crystals that grow all around it. And it's what you would call encrusted with little crystals. Mm. And it takes all the energy. It's, it's basically um, harmony and alignment is what this is all about. It takes all the crystal energies of the main stone and ap amplifies it over and over again all over the place. So you can see what a powerful crystal that is. Just even setting it in your pace, space. Can't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect community, absolutely perfect community. It supports each other. Um, it amplifies each other. They all work together. Mm -hmm. And they all work together for the whole, kind of like if you're a Star Trek fan, the old, uh, not the old, old Star Trek, but uh, the one with Picard, that's what the board did, right? They all worked together. Like <laughs> um, and um, you can meditate with it um, to expand your consciousness is what meditating with this would be like. You can connect to the higher realms. You can channel wisdom um, for your healing and your growth with this. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece. So $238 and um, yeah, it's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. But yeah, you can now see all the tips are very, very light lavender. Very light lavender, almost like a pink amethyst. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Up there. Um, and now we've got some jade. And you made there. Yeah. So, you know what? It's like that mermaid sitting on the rock in yeah. um, Stanley Park in Vancouver. Yeah. Um, we have some jade, and this jade is, um, I believe it's from um, Brazil. The one that comes with, see the quartz? It's got quartz throughout it. Cheryl saw uh, a mermaid mm -hmm. sitting here, which then reminded me of the mermaid that sits on the rock in Stanley Park in Vancouver. Right there. So I've got two pieces, um, I've got actually two sizes, and these two pieces are 124. Look at how dark that is, isn't that beautiful? But you can see that this one's um, lighter, and you can see the streaks of quartz through it. It's really beautiful. It's a good scrying mm -hmm. pieces, actually. There's a little heart coming out down here. Lots of stuff in here. So these two are 124, and then I've got five. Five, four, four and, and then one. You got three sizes here. Oh, I've got three. Yeah, I don't have three on my sheet. I have it on mine. One twenty-four, sixty-six, and thirty. Yeah, I, I, oh, I, you changed. Uh, did the, I uh, cross out the wrong thing? Oh. I've got four at sixty-six. Right here, they all stand up on their own as well. Look at this one's got lots up at the top, so it really brings a lot of enlightenment with it right there. It's beautiful. Look at that. Some of them look like waterfalls. Mm -hmm. right. right here. These are really beautiful. Yeah, this one's really neat. Right here. 
So these ones are 66, and I've got four of those, and then I've got one little one right here, and that one is 36. Right here. Almost looks like green kyanite the way sometimes that when you polish it. Oops. Oh, yeah, like a little wand, bit. But it's yeah. actually jade with a bit of um, quartz in it. Mm -hmm. That's the back of it. They remind, these ones remind me of like a stormy sea, and you know, and the uh, waves are washing. And yeah. Getting rid of stuff. And it's like it's, like it's coming up against like a cliff. Yeah. Right there. Bringing yeah. new treasures. Yeah. Love jade. Mm -hmm. Jade is a powerful dream stone. It's also a stone of luck as well. But it, it allows you to dream if you don't dream. And it, and it can help you remember your dreams as well. It was a real talisman uh, for protection and is also a deep healing stone. Thank you. And um, it's a, a really good um, stone to attract wealth. And it was used to be used for bartering. So um, that's why the abundance and the wealth gets attached to it because it was used like money. So it's also good luck. And it's really good for clear decision making as well. It was really revered by the Chinese, still is actually, for centuries. And that's what they used it for. They used it to carve. They used it for wealth and abundance. They used it for money, you know, things like that. So very, um, a very versatile stone for sure. And who would like to go down the rabbit hole with us today? <laughs> <laughs> with our white jade rabbit. This, this guy is 65 and <clears throat> We got him because it's close to Easter, right? The Easter bunny, which is a really weird, you know, legend, but <laughs> it's an Easter bunny. Um, now, white jade is crystal of the white ray. Let's see if I can get it up there. And um, it will help you to clear your space and it will help to clear you. Um, it's purity of thought purity of light and it helps us to focus for wise decision making as well but all jade will have the wealth and prosperity and luck attached to it but white jade just brings that purity of light and I say love too mm -hmm. with it mm -hmm. but is isn't this little bunny rabbit cute can you see it in a, a um, Easter uh, display with maybe some chocolates around it. <laughs> It'd be nice to set them on the table with it some would. a nice Easter nice table. Easter table with some mm -hmm. greenery and some colors. And yeah, and it's quite um it's quite big. Like look at that. It's bigger than the palm of my hand. Here. And this um Easter bunny, white jade Easter bunny is 65. And these are not gems, sorry. Yeah. The eyes are not gems. No. But it'll get you with your, ex it's x-ray vision eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the last of the three grids that Cheryl had made for today. This one is spiritual growth. So we've healed, we've renewed, and now we get to grow. Um, Agate makes up the base of this grid. It brings balance, harmonizes, and stabilizes all the basics of growth. It raises consciousness while helping pull together life experiences, which in turn leads to spiritual growth. Sintamani is the scent, the focus stone. Holy, holy cow, you scared me. You <laughs> jumped right out of my hand. Oh my god. Sintamani is actually very strong. Like, it is. Like Moldavite. Very, yeah, it's actually, I find it stronger than Moldavite. But yeah. yeah. Um, it helps us reach a higher state as we carry on with our soul's purpose. It is a sacred stone of love and light and can bring about profound change. Rutilated quartz integrates energy at all levels. It promotes spiritual growth, 
by drawing off negative energy and removing fences that block our spiritual growth. Moss agate is stabilizing and refreshing. It's a stone of new beginnings and untangles us from the tethers that inhibit us from moving upward. Because when I was writing this out, I kept thinking of an air balloon, like a hot air balloon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Herkimer diamonds stimulate spiritual vision and your own potential while bringing your soul purpose forward. I would use a charite quartz or selenite wand to activate this grid. This grid is $62, but the other thing I would use with this grid is I'd actually use a moldavite spray. Um, and it is 16 today. Yeah. So an added, if you wanted the whole thing, it would be 62 plus 16. You know, the moldavite spray as well. So cool idea. idea. Yeah. I like that. Otherwise, the grid itself is 62. And you've got Sintamani and Herkimer Diamonds, two also mm. high vibrational crystals. Very high vibrational. Sandra Stone Jane is Sintamani. It's a tectite. Yeah. If you want to learn more about Sintamani, you can go onto our website. I wrote a big uh, thing about it and explained it. Um, and it's CI. Um, it's it's a Mani oh, stone, oh. and which is a type of tectite. And if you go onto our website, Cheryl me. Um, I'll do the website. Um, soulfoodcrystals.com and then you can go um, under crystals and see uh, crystals for A to C or A to D and click on Sintamani and I wrote a whole big thing about Sintamani there. It's amazing. Um, some of the people the other day there were people in looking for Moldavite and so I recommended Sintamani and the person picked it up and they went whoa <laughs> This is more potent than multivite. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, think it's so. very cool. It's very cool stuff and yeah. it has lots of really nice properties yeah. with it as well. Yeah. And um, I was going to say, so. oh, yeah. And if you want to learn more about that, and, and again, I'll say high vibration crystals, um, I've got a, our um, classes on Tuesday night. Uh, this Tuesday night for March or April rather, and um, it's all on high vibrational crystals. So you'll no, learn. This yes. No, a week Tuesday. I'm sorry. It's the eighth, sixth, six, sixth. Yeah. So six. A week Tuesday. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I'm going, oh my God. Yeah. Um, it's this uh, a week Tuesday. <laughs> Next Tuesday. <laughs> And if we do the baskets now, Ooh. is um, we lear we're learning all about high vibrational crystals and uh, kind of getting into the energy of those and what some of those are, what other crystals are high vibrational as well. So if you're interested in that, you can actually um, register um, on our website as well. And there's optional tools for each class. So um, whether you want to get the tools, you get for that class, you'll get five um, high vibration crystals, and one of them is Sintamani that you'll you'll get in that that toolkit. And now we've got a little surprise, and um, we haven't done this before, but what these are, we've only got two of them. These are little Easter baskets. Um, they're $100, but you get $200 worth of product in this. So you're getting it all for half price. So there's things like there's crystals in here. Jewelry. There's crystals and jewelry. And like this one's got a couple of different crystals. And there's more crystals as well in there and oh yeah look at the that. Renewal oh the renewal kit we've got a candle some jewelry CD. You know, cd and stuff like that in here so the whole kit and is a hundred dollars so it could be something that you want for yourself or um oh yeah there's a little ours on the go deck in here mm -hmm. but the the retail value is two hundred dollars um so you're getting um again all half price. 
um, in this little kit, or you could put some cellophane around it and give it as a gift if you wanted to as well. Yeah. So we thought we would try something like this, just you know, because it's different and um, and fun and Easter. And then you've got this little pot here that you could plant plants in, or you could use it probably for uh, baking. It little, you could. I don't, I don't know if I would use it for baking. You could line it. Maybe. You could line it. I would also. Um, I was thinking it would make a great little holder for some of your sacred tools. And stuff yeah. As well. Oh, it would. It, it yeah. really would. Yes. Yeah. I'd have to get one myself. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, we thought we would try it and see um, what you thought and um, uh, some nice little surprises in there. For you so again surprise bat surprise Easter basket and it is a hundred dollars and we only have two. two yes and that's a happy that's our Easter present to you yes our yeah. Easter present to you now the next we're gonna carry on a little bit with this Easter theme or the springy thing is that we have some absolutely stunning generators in bumblebee jasper look at the colors in there these are stunning yeah that light washes them out but these are really really stunning and i like how this one goes up to being light up there mm -hmm. these generators are 98 each and i we've got five of them here look at that i love that one too they're beautiful maybe if i hold it back i don't know the light seems to wash it out because this is quite um, strong orange down in here. And this one too. It's got really strong, especially there. Look at that. Yeah. The orange is actually Rialgar in it. So if you, <clears throat> um, they polish it because it can be very toxic. Um, if you're touching it and it's raw, so that's where they polish it. <clears throat> like that. It's only found in Indonesia. And they called it bumblebee because some of it has that yellow and black bands. <clears throat> these ones are not yellow. here. Yeah, these <laughs> ones are mostly, those ones are mostly orange. Yeah, with some mm -hmm. yellow in it. And um, so it sort of resembled a bee. Now, I look at bumblebee jasper like I look at a bee. <clears throat> Bees um, are... Um, aerodynamically shouldn't be able to fly. So to me, it's like doing the impossible. And I look at um, these pieces as that. They can help us do the impossible. They also help to increase self-confidence. They dissolve blocks um, so that we can manifest our dreams and move forward. So I've got five at 98. And mm -hmm. we've got... Five. Oh, look at the strength of that. Mini ones. Look, look, you can see, you can see there how strong the uh, orange yeah. is. These little mini bumblebee um, generators are thirty-one dollars. They're cute. They would make a really good grid. They would make a really well. good grid. Yeah. yeah, but aren't they cute? They're, so they're cute. really cute. We've got five of those, and they're thirty-one dollars. But Bumblebee Jasper also has zest and vitality for life. So it helps you have that zest and vitality for dream life. Mine too, Jane. What? <laughs> dream the impossible dream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mine too. Uh, so I want to just about burst out in song. <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing we have is what I'm calling cotton candy aragonite generators because look at their color. Oh, look at that, it washes it out. These are quite vibrant pink. Mm -hmm. I've got three sizes here. I've got three at $38. And let me see if I can get away. So, well, you can see it's pink, but this is quite vibrant, almost fluorescent mm -hmm. pink, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, I've got three at 38, and that's what these ones are. Let me just see if I can turn that light down a little bit. See if we can. 
see the little thing there. It's on the computer screen too, I think. Oh, you can see a little bit more there. Um, but they just reminded me of cotton candy. Going to the, um, like going to the Stampede or Circus or something like that and getting some cotton candy. And of course, I'm a pink girl because I love them. Um, but <clears throat> it is actually aragonite. Um, and it is a pink aragonite. I don't know whether they have enhanced it or not. This one's got some little fairy holes and stuff in it. Um, but it's an excellent stone for um, the heart and for calming emotions and bringing infinite joy. Certainly, they bring the joy to me, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, makes, makes you smile. So then we've got three at, that was 38. These ones are three at 30, right here, like there. It will help you to connect to the sweet side of life. Aragonite is very calming as well. And blue aragonite to me is more like um, water and ocean kind of stuff. But pink aragonite to me helps to connect you to that angelic realm through little your sweetness. Yes, it is a little sweetness and through your heart chakra. And then I've got four at 22. So we've got four at 22 here. Like that. And yes, they do they look like they're washed out well, over there? I really have to catch up. I'm a little bit behind you here. This, this one's got some. Yeah, they're not as vibrant on screen as they are in yeah real, in real life. Because real life. if you rem if you recall how vibrant or how pink um, cotton candy is, that's what these look like. They're definitely like that. They are yummy. It's like I want to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Not, Not really. really. <laughs> I'll have some can cotton candy, please. <laughs> <laughs> and did we say one, two? I guess this is a um, this is an orange calcite sphere, and I think actually it is. And again, it's washing it out because this is much darker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's ninety two dollars, and um, it's I think it's about two to two and a half inches wide. I think it's probably at least two inches, two and a half inches. Yeah, I'd say two and a half to three inches wide. Um, but orange calcite is very cleansing, or calcite in particular is cleansing, and it energizes. It balances your emotions, and you can see here there's some nice white on it as well. Nice, and of course, there's a white line around there, so it's a nice wishing stone. And we've got some banding right there as well. It um, removes um, any sort of like inflammation, that sort of thing from the system, so it helps with that. Orange calcite is a stone of happiness and joy and uplifting. It helps to dissolve fears. It helps you um, to connect or reconnect into your juicy side of life, into your, the juiciness of your life. So energy, energizing and uplifting of the spirit. It helps you with um, happiness, so, so walking lighter, um, maybe put a spring in your step. So really good spring stone, spring and summer stone. Mm -hmm. And I think it will help you also connect into your, um, that inner child and that fun and play in life. And have, have lots of vitality in that area. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Yes, and it helps to, like I said, dissolve fears so that you can take action. And it helps you to love, not only love life, but love yourself as well. So orange calcite and it's 92. And it's, you can see a little bit more of the strength back here. Of the, let's just see if we can, still washes it out because it's so much darker than that. Um, but it's it's not always easy to get that quality of um, orange calcite. So get that really nice 
juiciness. And because what it does, it reminds me of a juicy orange. And mm -hmm. you just want to slurp it up. Just, you know, so Slurpable. nice. Slurpable. Slurpable. Exactly. And it's um, 92. And now we have only one more piece. And Cheryl's. I'll <laughs> hold it up for you because it's <laughs> This is a black obsidian sphere. It's huge. And it is, I don't even know how, is it five or seven inches or something across. It's $648 and it's totally black. So really good for um, scrying. And again, it puts up a protective shield around you. And for those of you that are here that um, took the, um, the, the class on spheres, it's got that beautiful tube torus in it. And just think about, it's got, you know, um, for the size of sphere too, it's got at least um, eight feet in all directions of um, its energy that it puts out there. It's a really good um, earth star and roots, roots uh, chakra stone for grounding and purifying. And of course it, like I'd said before, it soaks up negative energy in its space and um, it's also again it's good for manifesting it's good for self-confidence for journeying for meditation um, and helps you manifest success so can you imagine that in your business space in can you space. imagine in any space can you imagine in a healing space too? oh yeah and um, it's really good to have actually um, obsidian in a healing space because when you are working on it, either on yourself or on a client, they um, release things during, during the session. So um, something like that will actually soak it up so it doesn't go into your own space too. So that is what we have for you today. I'm surprised somebody didn't get this. Or maybe they will yet. I'm wondering. The, um, we had quite a few, we had a few high vibe things today. Yeah, we did. But just a reminder, Moldavite and Fenicite powerhouse. Oh, beautiful. It is. It's very, very gorgeous. Um, the the um, prices... The, the discounted prices are in effect until tomorrow night. And um, we will um, contact you uh, for um, your invoices um, later today or tomorrow. Um, and if there's something that you do want, you can go to uh, the event and click on the discussion tab. And hopefully this afternoon I'll get some time to be able to list out what is left. And if there's something you think you wanted to think about, you can go into that discussion and leave a comment and say sold and the item name and price. Um, because we there are some items here that have um, more than one size, so that means more than one price. So if you can do that. And if you were new, um, if you could open up an account on our website with your contact info and we'll be able to get you your um, invoice. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming and um, okay Carol thank you. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Good for you. It just, I think it comes it comes up sooner on yours for some reason. So we're going to say goodbye for this week, and we've got lots of um, new and neat stuff for um, two weeks from today, which is the 8th of April. We're, we'll have another live, and we'll have lots of new and interesting Some things. Some very nice things. Mm -hmm. So Carol has that Moldavite and Fenicite pendant. Lucky, lucky lady. Yes. Lucky it's lady. beautiful. I know I considered keeping it. Mine. It's not <laughs> mine. It's not mine. No, it's not. <laughs> not for me. But we want, just wanted to say goodbye uh, for today and lots of crystal blessings and have a great week. And we'll do the bowl again. And, um, Thank you.
we'll contact you with your invoice and we hope that you enjoy all of your beautiful items that you purchased today and just know if you're local we always have them set up on the table um, tomorrow the, uh, this afternoon and tomorrow you certainly um, be um, welcome to come in and see everything up close and personal what's left as well yeah. with what's left so have a wonderful day and we will see you soon crystal blessings bye